What's going on YouTube? Today we got a really quick project here. We're working on my 97 Cherokee again. It's my male Jeep. Been hearing a little bit of rattle up front and the, when I take a turn it started to feel slightly different. So the project at hand is replacing my sway bar bushings and ends. As you can see I've already got a pretty good start on it. Um, the first thing that I had to do was drop my skid plate. Um, none of my other Cherokees have it, it's just this one, so. Okay, so the bolts for your center um, bushings are gonna be 15 millimeter. Also on the top of your link uh, here, it's a 15 millimeter. And there's a 19 millimeter on the uh, bottom side of this. I swung it down, like I said, to, so it'd be a little bit easier to work on. Um, I've got, I've got this 15 millimeter left to pull off. We're gonna do that real quick. And then we're gonna take um, the sway bar down. Wow, that sucker is on there. And I squirted all of these with penetrating oil yesterday. Once I got home, I was gonna do it. Yeah, I was gonna do this yesterday, but turns out that I ended up with um, something else that come up, and I had to wait till today for these. Golly! And so when you replace these, they give you these pins or ends right here. So really, I don't need this. I could cut it off if I have to but I'd rather not put a little more penetrating oil on this thing there we go maybe that'll help so I'd like to mention that I'm also servicing the front diff today um, I have not done it yet and this thing is approaching the hundred thousand mile mark and I doubt very seriously that the other guy done it, that owned it prior to me, so. Wow. That is insane that that thing is that tight. Okay, I'll have to find something else. Uh, I guess a breaker bar and uh, cheater to go on it so hang tight and everything else on this thing come off or came out super easy this is the only thing that has given me any trouble everything else zipped right out with my uh, small 3 8 impact that I've got there probably would have been easier to have taken this off when it was um still bolted up top but I really didn't think I was gonna have any problems this thing is warm I don't feel like this thing's ever going to come off. There we go. Alright. Okay, so there's a washer. Just trying to make sure I make a mental note of how these, uh, pins went back it's always good to uh, remember that so here's our new parts um, I went with Moog it's just uh, the better brand that the car quest sells that I use frequently all we're gonna do is copy the setup of this old pin here to make sure that we get the new one correct so there's a couple of pieces here. Um, 
these look like they push in one on each side there's a steel bushing that go there's a steel bushing that goes through the center um, then we have up here we've got one of these that go down uh oh never mind hang on about screwed it up okay so we got the steel bushing that goes on the bottom to support there's two of these one of them will not go down the other one will so <clears throat> should go down like this with the little smaller end pointed upwards a little lubrication probably would help in <laughs> this particular situation but I managed without it um, so the next step we slide this on would be to capture it which would be like this it's gonna uh, then have our washer and then our nut uh, this is a lock nut so what we're gonna do is go grab the other side and complete the same process on it because we still haven't done our center yet okay so this is our second uh, link we're putting together here again put these two rubber ends Our steel bushing slides in. It's a little tight. And on these, like I said, there's two sizes. I'm gonna put the big size down. A little nipple up again. going to show this real briefly this is what the finished product should look like of course our sway bar goes of course our sway bar goes in the middle um, we've got to replace the center bushings and then we're going to bolt the sway bar back up and that's when we'll um, install these okay guys Okay guys, so we're gonna take our wire brush here and clean these the sway bar off real good. Get the other side. Just do a little light brushing here with this uh colder because it, it really isn't dirty this one's got a little debris in the bottom but it would be nice if I had a little uh, lithium grease or something but I'm just gonna coat this with PB blaster to help this um, bushing slide in correctly Probably gonna have to play with it just a little bit to get the alignment correct. I'm not gonna, I'll show you a trick here in a minute. Well, that didn't sound good. Okay, so the last thing that I wanna do is have major problems when I go to um, uh, service this again in the future. So I always coat my bolts 
with some uh, anti seeds. Make sure that I had the right one. All right, so we're gonna try to stick this side up here and get it started. So, one thing you don't wanna do is you don't wanna run these down super tight because you've got to still align the ends over on the side and I'll show that in a minute. So, you wanna run them down um, three or four revolutions, make sure that they're holding good but you want to leave some slack in it that way that uh, if you need to make adjustments for the pins at the end to go in them you can so let's scoop to the other side all right okay like I said just enough to make sure that they hold um because again we've got to put our ends on so that's the next thing that we're gonna do so this is pretty simple as far as what you're doing you may have to pull this bar in or out depending on where your alignment is right we're gonna put that in put our washer over it and our lock nut we also need to find oh there it is gotta find our 19 millimeter I'm going to any seize this bottom uh, stud that remains in place when you pull all of this out. It looks like you. All right, so I've any seized everything. We're going to tighten our lock nut down by hand, um, simply to make sure that it uh, won't move. Put our washer and our uh, nut on the bottom back on here. Um, I, again, don't over tighten anything right now. You want to leave everything just a little bit loose because you've still got the other side that you got to put on. <laughs> okay, so here we are at the other side. Um, gonna go ahead and put on our any C's for our bottom. It looks like. It is going to line up pretty easily. And this is not a hard job. Anybody can do this. Okay guys, so I don't know if you could tell what I had to end up doing there, but I had to take these bolts all the way out and press from the bottom to uh, get it to line up to the exact spot. No big deal, everything is in there and secure now, so we are good to go.
Okay, so now our little uh, top bushing here that we've got to get in and secured. Oh yeah, there we go. You want to tighten that down until the bar develops uh, like a squish to it. You can tell that there's enough pressure on there that that's going to hold this and it's going to make for a really good ride. So let's go to the other side. I'm going to hit it too. Okay. So all those depressed, you can tell, I'm sure that they have a specification, but mine didn't even have instructions in it. But you wanna make sure that these bushings um, depress. And you know, you should be looking at, and that's probably uh, almost half an inch. Yeah, it's almost probably half an inch. Maybe not quite, maybe three eighths. But anyways, so that's a look at doing a sway bar. Okay, guys, so that's a wrap. Um, hope you guys found this informative. This is just a quick video of how I did my sway bar. Honestly, there's not much to it. You just want to make sure your parts are tight, really. Like I, I, I showed the couple of tricks there with uh, using a wire brush to clean off your bar. That way, when you put the new bushing on, you get a good seat. You want to tighten that stuff up good, but you ain't got to go um, crazy strong with it. That's the reason I use that little 3 8 impact. Probably... Uh, about the correct amount of torque coming out of that because it's not very strong. I would show the thing going back together if I didn't have something else to do, but now I've got to do the front diff service. So that's gonna be an upcoming video. Stay tuned for that if you wanna see that and see what it looks like. That's all for now. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.